Okay, the recording is in progress. Hola, bon dia. Hello, everyone. How are you Tudo doing? Bem. I'm doing great. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Bon dia. Bon dia. Yes. yes. Um, Very international we are. Well, I'm bilingual, right? I'm sure you are. Yeah. Um, probably I have a couple languages. I have a couple I'm languages. Sure, yeah, I'm sure there are some jokes to be said about this. Well, I did do sure duolingo for a while and I got like, I forget exactly what it was, but I was a high, pretty high percentage uh, Portuguese for a sure. minute. Yeah, I probably, I probably forgot some. Probably. Bon Actually, bon dia. you know what? Um, one of the common sentences was and this probably isn't exactly right but it's pretty close but i was on duolingo and then you know it gives you just like generic whatever words and it puts it in a sentence and like one of the sentences was um i bought cheese and i'm drinking beer like random it was the weirdest thing so that's i guess do you guys eat cheese and drink beer yeah, who doesn't? You do? No, that's a Wisconsin thing, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? Yeah. So anyways, I forgot how to say that. Should, so. we, talk, should we talk about the time that you try to speak with, in Portuguese with my mom? Nope. Nope. Oh, we can probably not, skip. Not today? We can skip that. Okay. Are you sure? So, yo, yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. Uh, we don't okay. need that. It was boring. We don't it was boring. Oh, boring. <laughs> so uh cool. mindset get in a different mindset over here let's, let's change uh, the mindset change the mindset change the mindset so today let's uh i like the idea of talking about mindset mm -hmm. uh what what's do you the like about it oh i don't know that was kind of a generic saying but i really do like it let's see what do i what do i like about it i think that's kind of the foundation I don't want to make it like where I say this is the foundation of everything, because I think when we go into fitness, I think fitness is that starts everything from, you know, someone being successful in business or other parts of their life. Nutrition, you have to like that's the foundation of like the fitness pyramid. You know, it starts with nutrition. But even before all of that, um, really the mindset of why you would even do this. So staying within the fitness realm, health, nutrition, or fitness. I don't think if your mind is right or you desire for your mind to be right, there's really not much hope for you if, uh, if you're on this fitness journey. I'm not saying you as a person, but like I think that you, all, you won't I, make it. I think in all all endeavors if your mind if your mind is not right i do believe that mindset is the foundation though because yeah. it's like it's legit so before we're joking about what's the definition of mindset and i said it's something that your mind is set to yeah right yes. and it's kind of it kind of is because if your mind is set to i'm not going to be able to complete this chances are that you're not gonna right i'm not gonna right. succeed at that i suck at that um this is too difficult. I can't do it. You're already um, making that self-fulfilling prophecy happening just by setting your uh, mind to failure. Yes. Right. And, so that goes yeah. for like even being a parent, I think, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, well, on the mindset. So you, you're saying on the one side of, you know, someone saying that they can't do it and, um, we often run run across that if someone's starting to work out. So either in the nutrition part or in the fitness part, if we're having them do something that they've never really been able to accomplish or fit in their life, and then they're going to tell you why they can't do this, then it's pretty much at that point, unless you can have the breakthrough, then you're right. It's not going to work for you. Right. Yes. Um, and then so on the other extreme, you'll see these people that are completely out of shape, have never done anything, and their history has proven that they're going to continue to be obese, lazy, 
and unproductive for the rest of their life. But then they're telling you how maybe they want to become a personal trainer and you're looking at them and you're like, uh, okay. And it makes no sense. Right. But their mind, they have decided. Yep, that you're they're saturated. Done. Yep. They're, they're huh. done with however they're going to live. So their mind is like, boom. And then you see them two, three years later and they're whatever, shredded, healthy, fit. And, and they're a trainer. And or I don't know why I said trainer, but like something that is so different than who they've ever been, but their they literally life. changed their mind. They made a decision yeah. and stuff like that. It's very powerful. I love that it stuff. Um, when people start working with me on 101, one of the first things that I share with them, it's a little document. It's, um, it says it's, um, it's named, it starts with you. And it's legit a whole document talking about how if you don't believe that you can do this, you're not like, we're not going to go anywhere because it literally starts with us, it starts with mm -hmm. you. Like if I tell you, um, let's do this because this is said result is going to happen and you are already anticipating that said result is going to, is not going to happen. You're not going to even try. There is no reason for you to like. If you tell me if you cross the street, there's, I guarantee you that there is going to be a thousand dollars at the other side of the street. And I look at it and I see nothing. I anticipate that there's not going to be the thousand dollars in there. I'm not going to cross the street. Yeah, not okay. walking. What kind of fool I am of crossing the street because of your saying me, right? But I do need to trust that. You are telling me, like, if I decide that you are worth of my trust, mm -hmm. I got to be the one deciding that, okay, I trust this dude. He's saying that if I cross the street, there's going to be a thousand dollars in there. And that is a good enough reason for me to cross the street. So I'm going to cross the street and see what happens. And may, maybe magically, just by trusting this fact, the thousand dollars are going to appear. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then I cross the street. But if I'm already anticipating, like, this dude is full of shit. There is no thousand dollars in there. I'm not going to even try it. I'm not going to do it. Right. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I think it's like, it really, how we see things, it decides our whole demeanor and our, our entire life about the, it. Yeah. The way you explain that kind of brings up something. I think we, so say as coaches, people may have they're either stuck but someone specifically who just like can't seem to get out of a rut can't seem to like get motivated or mm -hmm. to get to where they want to go and they really believe that they're a failure is pretty much it so say they hit the rock bottom and they can't do it when they come to you as a coach our job and then I believe this is just like uh, painting a picture that they submit to you that they believe you know what's good for them and then you're believing in them more than they believe in themselves. So their mindset for that is like, I maybe don't think I can do this, but she thinks I can, so I'll do this step. Right, some people don't. Because, because yeah, because, yeah, because she thinks. So then initially, like you believe in them more than they believe in themselves. That's often the case because we've seen people go through transformation. And uh, so their mindset, instead of like for themselves, initially, sometimes it's like, well, Karina probably knows, I'll just do it. And then that's their first mindset. And right. then once they get that confidence of they completed something, they're like, oh, wait, no, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can do this, yes. And then he create that trust of being, because I feel like it's also a matter of some of those people have been saying that they are going to do for so long and they don't. You know, they tell mm -hmm. themselves, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start a new nutrition plan. I'm going to start a new um, exercise plan. I'm going to start sleeping better. I'm gonna, And day after day, they fall short on what they're saying that they're going to do, that it starts to create a distrust within you. Oh, yeah. Right? 
And then it becomes easy to like, oh, Monday, I'm gonna start a new exercise plan. But in your, the back of your mind, it's like, how many times did I say that? That's not yes. good, right. Yes. So that there is like that mindset of like, that's bullshit. It's already in there. Like the plants, the seed is already in there and just like waiting to create the roots and grow in a non good manner. So also that's the also, good part yeah. of having a coach, right? Like to be yeah. like, let's snap out of this. This is craziness let's get out of it you can do this let's go chop chop and everyone around them so like a husband a wife uh close friends the circle of friends they know this person's weakest link like they know all the embarrassing things they know all the like he or she was gonna do this they always say that oh here we are again right So to get out of that circle and then as a coach, you or I, um, I explained like, I don't know them on anything other than you're coming forward to say, I'm going to do this for my future. So like all that history, all that past is like irrelevant to me because I don't, I don't know that of you. Right? right. So if you, if we were to work together, so then we're speaking Like our mindset is, well, you can do this. You just, you came to me. Uh, we're going to make a plan and we're just going to go down this path. Like there's no not going down this path. Oh, you got to want, you got to put the work, right? Like, oh, they, they do. Yeah. Right. Like you got to yeah. put, like, it's not just, you got to change the, your, the way you're seeing things, right? Yes. If you keep on telling me, I'm not going to be able to do this. I've never been there. My whole family never been there. Um, that's how I am for forever. This is all how I have always been. Like there is not even the, like the best coach in the entire world, not even Freud would be able to take you out of the, the rut. If you're not willing to just snap out of it and be like, okay, let's get, even if you're not like I a hundred percent. And the, I usually tell this to people, like, even if you're not like, I know I can crush this. It's fine. It's difficult to say when you're in a new journey and you have no idea what's expecting you at the end of it. It's difficult for uh, you to think or feel or say, I know that I'm going to be able to crush this. And I totally can relate and respect and understand yeah. that. But also the other end of it of like, I'm going to suck at this. I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, this is going to be too hard and it's, I don't want to do it. And this is also not the way to go about it. So this is not the way to go about it. The other way is also not easy because you're just so used to staying on the other end. Be neutral about it, right? Be like, I have no idea if I'm going to crush this or if I'm going to suck at it, but I'm going to try. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can yeah, just like yeah. put your best, like, uh, yeah, I might suck and not be able to get it. I might also crush it and have exactly what I want at the end of this. So why not just put my best foot forward and just go for it. Think the best of it. Yeah. Right. I like, I like when you said the, um, no matter what path you give anyone, um, the tricky part of like, coaching people or when they come maybe say like with a like with a weaker mindset and I say weaker just maybe not knowing like they've always failed whatever and then they think you have the you've helped x amount of people they've seen the testimony they've heard they've heard from their friend like oh yeah she's great Karina's is great so then they're like oh well she's going to give me the perfect plan right um, the realization of that that person has to put in the work like you you cannot do anything for them as far as physically i'm right so even i would like, i would like to i would love yeah. to do like for some people i would for sure be like dude if i could just like that's so for sure I would, I legit would work and eat and do all of it for some people, but yes, but it's, I'm so, not a magician. So like in other businesses or school or writing, uh, trading, yeah. uh, 
someone else can actually do the work. So if you, if you present the money, you can pay for other people to like, you can source out your projects. You can source out your business. Um, you can pay for, we don't mow our lawn. So we have people right. mow our lawn, right? Right. Um, Even food, right? Like we don't want to cook. You yes, you can hire someone. Yeah. But the only, and I'm not, I say only because there's probably not, there's probably other things too, but, but literally for your body, no one else can do the work. Right. You just even, have to do it. Even if people are like, oh, but then I can go and do a tummy tuck and do my boobs. And yeah, but at the end of it, if you don't take care and you go back to your old habits, you're going to lose everything that you, yeah, someone yeah. made it for you. So you still going to have to do it for you. So we really like, it really starts with like, if you do your tummy tuck and you do your boobs and put Botox and like, all of the shits, right? But in your mind, you're still the same person that you were before it and your behaviors and beliefs and skills are the same. All of that money that you spend on your body, it's going to go to waste because you don't know, you don't have the mindset to sustain the new person that you're trying to be. Right. So illegit starts with your mindset. You got to, you do get it. And when I say you, I, I mean like we, right? Because yeah. I do too. Like I, I, I self-doubt a thousand times a day, like going through my business by myself. I doubt that there's gonna, that it's going to work 11 times out of 10, right? Like I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not going to have people around me to help or people are going to doubt my skills or not going to like I do, right? Mm -hmm. But there's something that I do got to um, switch and be like, just keep on going, put your best foot forward, do your best work and let that be spoken for you. Instead of you keep on waiting for the shoe to drop, just stop wasting energy with that and start putting that energy onto it's going to be fine. You're doing your best work. If it didn't work, it didn't work. At least you know you did your best. Mm -hmm. Right. And that same goes to whatever, like you have your job and it's not given, right? Like you can wake up tomorrow and be like, Hey, you don't have this job anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. There's, you have zero control under that. All you right. can do, and you cannot be like, Oh man, I'm going to be fired today. So I'm not going to even try it. Like you just got to be wake up and put your best foot forward and expect to give the best to, to the people that are around you and trust that everything is going to be fine. And if it didn't work, it didn't work. You're going to try something else, but at least, you know, you, you were your best, right? Yeah. And the same yeah. thing goes yeah. for fitness, for nutrition, for your health. Like you got to take care of your health. Oh, but I'm going to die anyways. Yeah. We're all going to die. If we, we can cross <laughs> the street to die. What does that mean that I'm going to just sit down on the sofa and wait for that, you know, like just put your best foot forward, snap out of it. It's not because your mom, your dad, your grandma, your aunt was overweight and die of diabetes that you need to, right? Like the same way that you could have parents or fam people in your family that were rich. That doesn't mean that you're going to be, if you don't put the work, you're not going to be. Right. Yeah. Right. So we always got to be putting our best foot forward and stop waiting the foot to drop and be like the shoe to drop and be like oh man this is not gonna work i'm gonna suck i'm gonna die i'm gonna get sick i'm the worst and just snap out of it and be like yeah i don't know what's gonna happen it's scary and it's super scary to get my expectations up because i can see things going to where i want you and i am afraid to get all excited and go with my face on the wall but what am I going to do? Like, what is the option? Go to the corner of the wall and cry? Yeah. Well, you may do that sometimes too, though. I mean, they, <laughs> then, yeah, you can. And then like, come but step I think, out of it, right? I think also like what you were saying for work, like nobody, like when we, when everything was shut down in our life, like that had never happened before. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so you don't know. So what I think, so for my mindset on that is, I mean, I doubt, like just me, um, I don't think gyms and stuff are going to 
shut down again, whatever. I'm just like, um, just optimistic um, towards it, right? Yeah. That's just like, I just tell myself that, oh, they're not going to shut down. However, I work as though, I mean, maybe they will, but I have no control over that. So what right. do I do is I just try to show up to where I am. Um, yeah, and just do the best that I can. And then, but that was even like before the whole world shut down because I always, I just always had the mindset that I'm helping myself get into the next season. Like, I don't know what doors are around the corner, but if I'm a jerk face right now, or if I pout right now yeah, on whatever situation you're in, you know, if you just like grab all this baggage and bring it with, and then, and then just be like, um, like a doom and gloom person. That Which is door, so easy to make, to do, oh right? Like it's so, so easy, easy to be, make yourself the victim and be like, yeah. oh, life is so difficult. <laughs> so and then when you, when you go easy. around the corner, um, someone who may have, they were going to open up a door, uh, they're going to just kind of close it and let you pass by. <laughs> be like, hey, Lee, we don't need that in here. Let's, let's, let's move on. Pass. Hello. Yeah. Exactly. And I totally know, like, you can have grumpy seasons, sad seasons and all of that. Yeah. But I try to most of all, it's like, well, let me just try to be cool. Yeah, like, let's just do what we can here. And then, because who knows, I've even seen um, people later in their like later years, say like 60, that they just, I don't know, they write their first book, and then it just goes like nutso. And then for the next 15 years, they're doing something completely different because they just kept going with, say, like what they loved or they kept like a good attitude and kept digging in. Um, but maybe they never had a plan of writing a book. Hey, hey, when I get 60, I'm going to write a book and it's I just going to take off. And But I believe so their mindset was probably if you met them uh 10 20 years before they probably showed up to work did their yeah. thing and they were probably one of if you were at an event you would probably want to sit around that person because they're just not gloomy <laughs> you know yeah. they don't even have yeah. to be amazing yeah. they don't even yeah. have to be amazing they're just they just not the victim stop. right like that's yeah. one of the things that really um it really annoys me when people are like i'm the victim and um, because like you're only the victim if you want to be the victim, unless you're really in a situation and you can see like even people that are really in situations that they are legit yeah. a victim, like serious stuff. Like they and were a victim. Right. Like they were yeah. like raped, shot, mugged, like serious stuff. Right. Like mm -hmm. that you could that they could be like, this happened to me. And I'm going to let life happen. And they still show up every day and be like, nope, this happened. And I'm not going to let it be my story. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change the world and use my experience to it. So they never put themselves as the victim and being like, oh, my life. I need someone to save me. They're like, no, fuck this. I'm going to save myself. I don't care. Right. Yeah, and this, powerful. I think it's very inspiring it's like dang you're like you have all the reasons to be down and crying and being feeling sorry for yourself but you're like no I'm not like I have no time for that I'm just gonna change the world and there are people out there they're like they have all the stars aligning and they stump that toe in the corner and they're like oh my life sucks I need help. Please save me. I'm going to cry. I'm like, fuck off. No, stop. Don't yeah. want to hear it. Right. Like that's like, that gets me for sure. So this, um, maybe like coming from a country that I came that I've saw so many people struggling about real stuff, like about not having food and like, 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 not like real life stuff, right? Like, oh, dang, like, I'm so blessed right now because this could be my reality. Like, the difference between those people and me are really, like, a sneeze. It's nothing at all. It's, like, a 
throw of dice, like nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could be in Africa, right? You could be in Afghanistan right now, like, right? right? right. And we're not. So it's like, dang, we're Jeez. so blessed. Or, or Haiti. That's yeah. getting smashed. Yeah. We're so blessed, right? But mm -hmm. how? How? What? What is the right that I have to be like, oh, my life sucks. It's so difficult. Like, and it is. Like, I'm not taking away your right to say my life is difficult because you don't have those people experience your experience is right. your own you have all of the rights you feel like your high, life is difficult you do not i don't feel like you have the right to put yourself in a victim state and stop fighting for it that's right. what i mean yeah right? you can yeah. complain i complain i complain plenty about my life like i complain that it's too hot i complain that i don't want to wake up i complain that i want to don't want to work out I complain plenty. I'm not saying that you should not like, I'm not, I'm not saying that complaint is a problem. It's assuming that you are defeated and that you should not even try and go for it and give your best try, whatever that looks like on that day, because your best is going to look different each day. So you, I don't, yeah. right? Like it doesn't yeah. look the same. Well, at least I don't think it does. Uh, just try it. Just go when for you, it. When you said you complain, uh, I for sure have like pouty seasons or uh, things and I'll like text my wife and I'll just like complain. And then at the end, I'll like sometimes just answer my own things. Like, yeah, I get it. This really isn't that big of a deal, but I, let me just get this off my chest. And yeah. it's like, as you write it out, you're like, okay, so this isn't the funnest. Um, but kind of like what you said, I didn't really go into like other countries of discomfort because that's a whole, we can't even fathom that stuff. Right. However, I do think of other people that they have much more on their schedule and they produce 10 times like what I would I do. produce. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so it's people have it worse and they do even more. So I don't know, that just puts it in perspective for me. Right. And then sometimes, sure, I, sure. sometimes I feel like a loser after I say that. And yes. then I have to work no, out. I agree for sure. I agree. But then you're like, okay, suck it up. Try to do something yeah, about it. It, instead of yeah. pout, right? But it's so again, it doesn't go to the fact that you don't want to see the issue or, and be like maybe sad or annoyed or frustrated about it. It's not that you should not feel those things right. is that you should not allow that. Like your, your response to, Oh man, I am a loser because I don't do as much things as other people do could be because of that. I'm not going to even try. I'm just going to sit in here and wait for life to pass. Right. right. Instead of like, okay. I'm just going to put my best foot forward, try, do the best that I can with what I have and what I know and see if that works. And if it doesn't yeah. work, we change directions and try something new, right? That's like what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, don't feel sorry for yourself because like suck it up. It's not about that. It's about knowing that you don't need the bad situation. You don't need to allow the bad situation to define who you are it's not because it sucks right now that it's gonna suck forever oh one thing on that is your uh i don't know if this is like mindset or it maybe goes more into like identity but say people uh who have done one thing for so long and then they end up losing their job their whole and then and then now they feel like well what am i good for this like world or i lost my job now I have like nothing right yeah. outside of say financial but they were so tied into maybe that one specific job I guess I would go more into identity their identity was so into the to yeah. the job that like when when you just take that part out of the equation and then they just crumble right um I kind of I like to think of each season as so say if it's everything's really difficult for me and I don't like um, where I'm at, whether it's like 
physically, financially, whatever. Um, so then that's like, it's a rough season, whatever you would call it. Mm -hmm. So then what's the equation? What do I need to do to like work through this? Like, what can I learn? And, um, just to get to the next season as soon as possible. But I try to, I try to make it like, okay, I got to figure this out because I can't live yeah. the rest of my life like this. And if, if this is going to suck for a little bit, that's cool. But I got to change my mindset here. Cause right. if I, if I take on, if I wear that, this is going to be the rest of my life, I'm not going to be good to be around. Right. And it's right? only, and the only person that can decide that it could be the rest of your life. If you decide that if, yeah. it's going to be, because that's why you see. Yeah. And, and that's just that scary. It's like, and some yes. people will just, I don't know, take it and own it or like own it. Yes. Wear it. And do it. Yeah. Like, Ooh, yeah, life is going to, like, we're all dying. Everything is going to end. Uh, everything is horrible. What am I doing? It's like, yeah, I know it's difficult and it's scary. Like, I'm not saying that it's not, it is. Yeah. Right. And like the way the state of the world right now, it makes it even more scary. Like, and I feel like that, put the, the, the fear puts people in a situation of I'm going to protect myself. And the way I am protecting myself is by attacking you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so there is like this division of everything about everything. Everything. And ev yeah. Yes. And there is no, there's a lot of pointing fingers. There is not sitting on their side of the table and being like, okay, let me understand why. Why are you saying that? Why do you think that? Right. Like there's a mm -hmm. lot of hate and a lot of uh, pointing fingers and a lot of, oh, you are wrong and I am right. And there is no one getting nowhere. Yeah. I think right? if like, you can. Yeah. If they can. Okay. So even in like um, fitness, when we're coaching someone or nutrition, when they're telling us what they're eating or what they can and can't eat instead of just like uh let me give an example i don't know keto say something random um i can I, you know i want help whatever but i can only do this diet right keto and i don't know um when we hear that instead of so this is what i feel like the world the world is doing Boom, we just drive in and tell them why that's bad. Now, there have been many people, say, who have done keto and for like many different reasons, their health and their markers and maybe, you know, they've, they've done well, right? But what we believe over here is like, oh, man, like, we don't need to do that. Like, let's just eat all the foods. Everything is okay. Um, but if we just jump in, and this person is just coming to us and they believe that like, they really believe like, well, I'm going to go get help, but this is the only way I'm going to eat when I'm with you. And then for us, well, that's like annoying, right? However, if we just went Absolutely. right, I think that what most people do, so they have this whole history of, they believe something completely else. And they know that this lady is not gonna, like, that's not the right way. So then they just go in and like, not slam her, but like tell her why she's wrong, tell her whatever, before they even both step back and you know, like how you get the packet of, tell me about you, uh -huh. right? So it's more about like, if we could all just slow down and learn each other, the keto and the food like really is irrelevant before we can connect. Right. And I think if, if it's such a fast pace, everything, if we could just slow down. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, not to say that I don't do that. Like I do it. Like I, I, uh, I always like to make it clear that again, like the things that I say here, it's not me on my high horse pointing oh, down right. and saying like, oh, you're so wrong and I am so right. And I've never, like, 
I do plenty of all of that and point fingers and be like, this is dumb. You're right. talking shit. I don't even want to hear. Right. Well, I mean, like, I, I'm I not saying that I was, I think that's just like what we do. Yes. Like you know all I mean? humans. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like. So, but I for sure think that this would be something that would be way more useful for everyone if you were all like, okay, why are you saying that? Mm -hmm. I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong, but I can see your side of the street and why you're saying that. I understand that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I'm not going to judge that you are, you know, like unless yeah. you're being an asshole, then I'm going to judge. <laughs> that, that's like saying... Um... So we get like, why? Okay, so if you want to eat that way, and they go through the whole thing, and you're like, all right. So we definitely don't agree. And we're probably not going to work together. But you do you. He'd be a good not. human. <laughs> Just go. I, I heard everything that I needed to. Absolutely not. We're not working yeah, together. <laughs> exactly. And I think um, this is kind of off topic of mindset. But I think there's a lot of not just trainers, but people that will sell to those people anyways, that they're not compatible with. So right. then this person is going to get sold and they're not even going to work well together. Right. It's going to be just a waste of energy because I don't believe what you believe. You don't believe what I believe. You're trying to sell me your ways. I'm trying to sell you your ways. Yes. And we're going to be like, Oh, oh, this person is dumb. Yes, they are dumb. Oh my goodness, so dumb. And that's gonna be the whole talk for the whole time that we're together. And it's like, okay, we achieve nothing. Thank you so yeah. much for playing. Bye. Oh, so man. it's for sure. Like, I do believe there is a right way to be a human. I 100 percent believe that. I don't think that all humans are right. I don't think that all ways are correct ways to be. Um, I do believe there is a right way to do things. Yet, this is my way, right? That does not my mean that way. my way is the right way for anyone else but me. Those are my views, my perspectives based on my mindset, based on my uh, how I was raised, the country I was raised, the environment I was raised, the environment I am now the people that I have around me, me, like my personal history, all of those things, like put a, a little bit, like a little window through which I'm going to see what is right and what is wrong, mm -hmm. right? Like if I see someone being homophobic online, I'm going to speak up. Because to me, that is a big deal. For mm -hmm. some people, it might be different. It might be like, oh, they're just being an asshole. No one cares. Yeah, so we all have our- You're wrong, own right? Window. So my, yeah. my response to that is like, you're wrong. Someone cares. Now you should be doing something about it. But this is my problem, right? Like, this right. is my-, my well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't right even wrong. say, I wouldn't even say, yes, that's your right or wrong. I wouldn't say that's your problem. No, I yeah, would say like that's my your, reality. So like when you go through, I think we all have whatever our passions are inside, whatever our rights and wrongs are. And there's so many, so like injustice in the world. There's so many different everything in the world Causes, yeah. that one person can't be involved in all of them. Right. So I think but, um, but all parts. We all, but if we all do a little bit right right well that's what, that's what i mean so so but like so say like you have your your like red flags that you see through your window so like your neighbor has another window and there's red flags in this window as well that are irrelevant to you right so then that's what i mean is like not one person can focus on them all but each person like has their window and then Obviously, you want people to try to do the right thing, but um, right. or you know, we all like love would conquer all, right? Right. That would be ideal. Love um, and kindness. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like if that one thing, if you could find like your, if each person could find their purpose or their that like their right mindset or their right whatever their 
thing is to carry out, right? That would be cool. But there's also probably an opposite to what they see of good. And some right. people carry out the opposite as right. well. That's and what that's I'm saying. just, yeah. If that is their window. And then that's what I'm saying. You were wrong. Yeah. Right? Like, those are, your those window are the sucks, you bud. Yeah. <laughs> Close the window. Hey, your window sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty no, but sweet. Sure, like, but I also think that um, those people that carry out the bad, they are unhappy because of something. Yes, I think they're right? programmed. There's, so somewhere along their program, there, there was a bug. Something went wrong. Like yeah, a little yeah. glitch on the system. And I think that comes from the mindset of like, oh, this horrible thing happened to me. This is who I am. This is how I'm going to behave. And then now I'm going to drag everyone with me through life being a horrible human. I just had, so on that, I had, uh, so when you said mindset and I pulled up like just mindset quotes. So the one that I had was master your mindset and you'll master your body. Cool. So that one was pretty good. That was kind of with uh, what you were talking about right there. Yeah. So but, yeah. I, I do think that the mindset is the foundation of everything. Like from the moment that we wake up, to how we're going to behave with our partners, to like how kind we're going to be to other people. We could be like, oh, he was a, an asshole to me. So my response is going to be, I'm going to be an asshole to them. That is your mindset, right? Eye for an eye. Or you yeah. can be like, I cut you. He was an asshole to me. I have no idea what's happening in their lives right now. They might be going through a real rough time and that was not on purpose that was not out of a mean place it was just an instinct yeah well, I whenever i just... whenever i hear stuff like that um i feel bad so like if i get frustrated at someone or something and then you legit hear the story of what they're going through or so and it's like legit and then you just feel like uh oh man because right. <laughs> how, how would i you, how you would i react even... Yes, you didn't even need to say anything back, but because you felt it, you were like, you thought it like, oh, such an asshole. And then you just discovered why they're an asshole. They're like, oh, I guess I'm the asshole now. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I always feel bad about that. Cause then I'm like, oh, well, they were actually pretty nice to me considering yeah. <laughs> what they were going through. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I agree with it. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's, it, that's what I think of it. I think the mindset is legit how you got to start. Like whenever you're going to start something, any new project is based off of this is going to work. And if it doesn't, it didn't. Fuck yeah, it. but I you just care, give it a I'm go. Gonna yeah. Try it. Yeah. I'm just going to try it. And it's like, yeah, like when I came to the United States, I started um, doing my AA at a, a Seminole State. And I was like, always thinking like, what am I like? What are you doing? You don't even know how to speak English. Like you're legit going to school. <laughs> like, what is that about? Like, who are you trying to kid right now? And it worked. I got all my like, it was summa cum laude. And then I graduated summa cum laude. And then I've tried UCF. And then I was again, like, this is like, ranking the six best program in the world for uh, in the United States for sport and exercise. You're not going to be accepted. You're tripping right now. And <laughs> I was like accepted and I graduated summa cum laude again. So it's like, I've never for a moment, I've doubted myself being like, you are a hundred percent insane thinking that this is going to work. But I've never stopped working for it to work. Like I kick my butt to keep on studying and like not going out with people saying, nope, I have to study. I need to do this. I need to have uh, homework and go to class. I didn't skip a day, even though I was going to work. I was working without being paid. And it was like every day showing up for work, not being paid, going to school, doing my work, still thinking 
who do you think you are? Right? You're like, a boss. All right. So it's like, it's not to say that I am a boss at all. It's to say that it's like, I went through all of that in the back of my mind, being like, you are fake. Like you are, <laughs> this is not happening. Like this is lies. Who are you like, trying to kid? Like pretty soon they're going to find me out. Right. And... They're going to figure it out. And I am fucked. Like they are <laughs> going to pull the veil over here and they're going to figure it all out. And I keep on, kept on going, kept on going and just like showing up every day and being like, okay. I, I legit had to have special class with the professor to know how to write essays because my writing sucked because I learned to speak by myself and I right. couldn't write, I couldn't write an essay for essay for shit. I couldn't. And the professor was like, Hey, we need you. Like, you're not going to go keep on going if this doesn't work. And wow. I learned and now I write emails to people. I give classes. I it's like, it's insanity. And I still don't believe it. Like I work with a company. It's like, to me, it's, I still think like people are going to figure it out that you were like fake. Like there's oh. like, they're going to figure it out. Like they're going to figure it out. Like just, you just wait, but you just keep on showing. Like you're, what are you going to do? You care for people. That is legit. My passion. I care for people and I love to help them. And I love to see them winning. And I don't want to stop doing that. So I keep on going and hoping no one figure it out that I am a fake. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can just keep making it. Uh, we'll make it one more week. My little, my little hat with my sunglasses, like just pretending no one's seeing me. Nothing to see here. Just keep going. Move on. Just keep moving. <laughs> so yeah, that you is just gotta, great. that's what you got to do. Like just self-doubt all you want think about all of the conditions that are surrounding you but don't stop putting the work yeah keep That's moving it. yeah keep moving just keep moving forward even if that if the moving forward today looks like you brushed your teeth if that's the best that you could do today that is it you brush your teeth let's go yeah. tomorrow yeah. is going to be a, a better day just don't lay down in bed and like give up life like yeah you know that's what i think it is just keep on trying keep on showing that's amazing i like it land the plane sponsored the by plane. sponsored by uh strong by design yeah strong it's by like design I need a shirt to show up on the we thing we do strong by design and united trainers association yes um, on my website, on uh, strong, we are strong by design.com. You're going to find more information on how to work the various capacity that you could, that we could work together. We have zoom classes online Monday through Friday. We can do one-on-one. We can do, um, only nutrition programming, all types of fun. We can even just talk just for fun. Cause I like to talk with you. Um, you should, have, you should have a, you should have a coffee talk. Coffee talk. Oh. Yeah. I feel like this is uh, my coffee talk. Well, this is good, but like, you know, maybe some ladies want to have coffee with you oh. and then you could have a coffee talk. Do, let's see if this is going to work. We can make the <laughs> program for that. Um, you you on, never know. Yeah. On United Trainers Association, you're going to find a, a fitness course, right? Fitness, yep. So for a personal oh. tracing basic certification, um really just opens what is, the door what is this uh course covers like if someone decides to go for it what is that they're gonna kind of learn so it'll be uh all the basics the biomechanics physiology nutrition little programming uh, biomechanics yes and programming however uh just like the basics of it and it's not like you know, like how CrossFit has their own special methodology. This is not that. So this is like, once you pass this course, it just has the basic knowledge of each um, division, right? So then that allows you to open the door. And then as this is how I explain it. The certification doesn't make anyone anything, right? However, if like thinking about 
getting into personal training or whatever that means to you. If you want to create a walking club and, you know, that's you being a personal trainer towards uh, a small group, or if you really think it's like your passion and you want to drive down that road, uh, this for United Trainers Association, I think is just like a good door opener, gets you into what you could do for um, personal training. And then you would um, individualize, you would pick a path. And that's kind of like, wanna, that's kind of, that's what I help people with. Even if they want to learn for themselves, right? Like Correct, if you don't, for themselves, if yes. really like kind of don't know what to do for yourself, but you would like to take more charge of your own fitness for you and understand a little bit better what it is that you need to do or not, this would be a good stepping stone for you to start on and understanding. Okay, I got it. Yeah, like stepping right, having stone a little for bit more sure. clarity. And I also like the fact um, once they take the certification and then for the first month, I just basically coach and help anyone that goes through it. And not everyone has questions, but the people that have questions, so they take the course. And then I try to help them along like, so what path would be good for you in the fitness industry? Um, try to just get them rolling. So that's what i that's what i really like about it yeah so there you go and also we have for food we have modify health with coach k as a 60 dollars on your first three orders you're going to have mediterranean menu and low fod map which is going to help with your gut health and digestion and coach william has mindful meals and that's only in the orlando in the Orlando area, I guess the surrounding Orlando area, and they deliver Mondays and Wednesdays, and it's the fresh meals. And then they have everything from uh, breakfast. You can get extra. So they have regular portions, extra portions. So like my meals are like around 800 calories, plus or minus. So it's like legit a lot of food. Eight meal, eight meal people, eight meal. It's one meal, 800 calories. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's one not meal. eating 100 calories a day. One no. meal is 100 calories. So that would be one meal. So that would be like my double portion. And so I really like that option. Anyways, 10% off on all reoccurring orders. And the code is United Trainers Association. Ooh, Man. buddy needs a treat. Yeah, buddy's he's participating over here. Hi, buddy. Oh, my goodness. It was still recording. Please don't do oh, that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, people, um, we appreciate you. We appreciate your time. Thank you for keeping on the journey with us. It's so very much appreciated, uh, your time and your years. Um, we hope to see you here next week with a little bit of more of a talk. And Boom. who knows where we're going to talk about it. Oh, it's, I'm excited. I can't wait to be good. It's going to be good. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.